experience as a host, a live host, and uh, internet radio host, and then hosting your yeah, own show, Q Man Show. So, take me through how that live hosting came about. Hosting started when I was. Hosted something was at 21. And the way it happened was there's a club in the city that used to do an amateur night. And I did, I never told anybody I did this either. So I did the amateur night, the amateur comedy night. I did that. And when they when it was over, they brought me in and they said, listen, on Mondays we have comedy night and we would like you to host it. So, for a year or two, in my early 20s, I hosted a comedy night in a New York City club. And it was there that I met Martin Lawrence. He came in one night with, it was the weirdest thing, he came in one night with um, uh, Anthony Mason. The two of them were together. I, I can't even explain how the two of them or why the two of them were together. It was him, it was Anthony Mason, and it was Charles Smith. They came in, they had a table at comedy night. Was he the infamous Charles Smith at this time? Or was he just uh, Charles Smith at the I don't, pump fake? You know what? I can't, can't remember, remember, but it was it was, was like ninety-four. It was like ninety-four. And um after the show, I sat down and talked with them, and I did something that a lot of people can't do. So, you couldn't tell me nothing as a kid. I made Martin Lawrence laugh a lot. And he said, you know, you gotta come try out. You gotta come try out, so. That's, that, that was the first time I hosted something. So moving on to your, to your next hosting uh, experience. I met a, well, this guy in high school with Kurt, who was very similar to that guy in the Five Heartbeats that ran the Five Heartbeats. What was his name? <laughs> the, the one that hung the guy off the roof, out, off the window. <laughs> he was very similar to that guy with his demands and uh, some of the adventures we had. And um, that started, I began hosting different events at the Divas Lounge in Montclair. And uh, th I mean, those were good times. Those were good times. And um, we hosted a, f I hosted a few events. We did uh, Cool in the Gang, right? Um, guy from Cool in the Gang, I think. Um, yeah, it, uh, that went on a couple of years. We hosted a lot of events. We did some, some spots in Newark. We did some spots in Montclair. I think we did one in East Orange. We were um, we were doing a lot of things. So I can't believe people are big. Least you ain't least you ain't compared with Eddie King. Or compared to Kirk to Eddie King. That's the name. That's the name. I couldn't remember. I'm like, is it Kane? Is it Kane? It's not Eddie King, right? Eddie King. <laughs> All right, so you went from live hosting mm -hmm. and you transitioned into internet radio. Uh, yeah, I started a show called The Q-Man Show that I did with my brother for a couple of years that took off and uh, had a lot of people listening from overseas, Africa, Jamaica, Puerto Rico. Uh, we talked about different topics. Um, we had a lot of listeners. Uh, it went, it went well for a while, for a couple of years, and then we we stopped doing it. And a company approached me called uh, Next to the L. They're a uh, neo soul website, and they wanted me to host their weekly podcast. And I've been doing that for a few years now. 